the baseline cortisol awakening response is blunted in those with IBS. After four weeks on a probiotic, look at the resurrection. A near normalization of the output continues into the eighth week, but then look at what happens here. What happens from week eight to week 12 is a drop off, and then by week 16, back to near baseline. What happened? They stopped taking the probiotic at the eight week mark. What I love about the setup and the design by Gregor and colleagues is they look beyond the intervention. And this helps us understand that, or answer the question that patients often ask in the clinic, well, how long do I have to take probiotics for? My answer is always, it's really up to your body. We're gonna aim for the broadest diet, the minimal amount of supplements, but we also want to go through this wean off exercise and see what happens to you symptomatically. So in this case, if someone stopped at eight weeks, they started to see their symptoms reappear. I'll show you the symptoms in a second, but stay with me on the cortisol awakening response. Abnormal, normal at week four, normal at week eight, blunted at week 12, and nearly back to baseline by week 16. So this tells us, or at least it partially helps us make the inference that if a therapy, in this case probiotics, is working, stay with it for a reasonable time. I think trying to come off at eight weeks is actually reasonable. But if you notice symptoms return, then go back on. Try to find a minimal effective dose. Then trial the withdrawal again. And if we're hitting the mark, you should be able to stay off of the probiotic or minimize the dose and still see a maintenance of the symptomatic improvement that you were receiving when you were on the full dose.